Good morning everyone and welcome to Grace for Today, the start of another week. Here we are, uh, bright and breezy on a Monday morning. I really hope that you were blessed at church yesterday. Uh, That talk on Shalom, uh, the peace of God, may the Lord make his face shine upon you. I pray that you'll be blessed by those words uh, this week as you go into this week and everything that's coming your way. Just remember that the Lord's face is upon you and he is giving you his peace. Uh, Let me start this whole new week of grace for today uh, by asking the question, where are you heading? It says in John 20, 31, which was the signature verse uh, for our series, Who Do You Say I Am? It says, these things are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you might have life in his name. Let me ask you, as you wake up on this Monday with a whole week in front of you, and in fact in January as we have the whole year in front of us, do you have a clear sense of purpose? How, how confident are you feeling right now that you're on the right path? I mean, it's a question that most of the world are asking themselves today. You know, what is my purpose and you know, what, what's it all about and where am I heading? Well, 2000 years ago events unfolded that have completely reshaped our world and they were recorded so that you today, when you wake up, when you start your week, they were recorded so that you could have a real sense of purpose, a real sense of hope, and a real sense of confidence about your future. This, let's just look at these words in John 20. These are written that you may believe, and that by believing you may have life. So your good success today begins in your head, it begins in your thoughts. What you think on and what you choose to believe today is either going to bring you life and fullness or it'll just bring death. So many people are are struggling with sin and they're believing that external circumstances are the cause of their stress or the cause of their anxiety and everything else that they're experiencing in their lives. They're blaming themselves, they blame their partners, they blame their boss, they blame the economy, uh, or they blame their health. I mean, there's a hundred things we can blame for the reason when we look outside of ourselves that we're not actually living and experiencing the fullness of God's joy. Now, as a believer, I believe today you can live beyond your circumstances. That is possible. Whatever's going on in the world today, you can live beyond it. You can live above it. You can live like you are positioned for victory because as John writes that when we believe in Jesus, then we have life in his name. Now, this is where we need, really do need to have a better understanding of what that word life means in the scriptures. You know, because many people think that life is just merely physically living. Like you've kind of got up, poured yourself a coffee or a cup of tea and okay, I'm alive. I mean, is this life? The fact that you have a pulse this morning and you can draw a breath means that you are alive. But actually, that's not what the Bible says about you or how it would define you living. You see, if you don't know Jesus today, you might be physically alive, but you're spiritually dead. You might be existing, but you're not truly living. Jesus is the source of life. He's the creator of all things. And from him, everything flows. Every bit of life flows. And the life that he has for you today, and you need to receive this today and say, yes, amen. He describes it in John 10, 10 as a life of abundance. The the word in Greek is zoe. It speaks not just of physical life, of functioning and getting through, but it's eternal life, the kind of life that we will enjoy when we're in the presence of Jesus in heaven forever. That's eternal life. One that is found today in knowing Jesus, experiencing Jesus, the giver of life. The message translation puts it this way. I came so that they can have real and eternal life, more and better life than they ever dreamed of. So when you put your trust and your confidence in Jesus, and today you approach him, you come into his presence and you say, thank you for loving me. And you approach him as the risen savior, the Messiah and the son of God. What you'll find is that your life is no longer just merely existing but you'll find purpose and hope and security and destiny today. So meditate on who he is and what he's done for you and you'll start to uncover who you truly are and what your life with him really means. Remember, you have not just been built to survive today, but to thrive and to co-labor, it says in the word, with the Lord, to see his light his life shine into your life and into the people that you're going to meet as you go about your business. 
So you do have a purpose today. You have a calling. Your life is not an accident. It says in the word that you are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus today for good works which the Lord prepared before that you should walk in them today. It says that in Ephesians 2.10. So you matter to the Lord today. You're his workmanship. You're his masterpiece. And your value today is far beyond anything that you can imagine. So can I encourage you? Believe today that he's leading you into goodness. Believe that this week he is blessing you and believe that his favour is all over your life and it's going to unlock all of the potential that he has put in you because that is why you're alive this morning. So let's not have Monday blues today, right? Let's get up with some fire in our belly, the spirit of the Lord himself and say, this week I'm going to walk in favour. Let your, de your declaration be, this week I'm going to walk in goodness because I am blessed. I have got purpose and a calling and because the spirit of grace, the Holy Spirit himself lives in me, then I am going to see goodness every second of every minute of every day of this week. Amen. It's a good way to start the week, isn't it? So let's say thank you, Lord, for your body broken for us, Lord. Thank you that because you went to the cross, Lord, and you hung there, Father, we can be whole and healed in our bodies in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for the cup. Your blood poured out has redeemed us from all, every bit of sin, every bit of mess, past, present and future, dealt with today because of your work on the cross. So go get him. Have a brilliant week. Okay, you're going to set yourself up well today by declaring that you've got purpose and a calling. I hope that you've been blessed. Hope that you're encouraged. Remember, tune in tomorrow morning for more grace for today and we will be delighted to see you then.